Hey guys, it's your girl Pixie and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Pixie's World. If you guys are not new, welcome back. Um, today's video is basically the importance of basically falling back and kind of removing yourself. Um, but before we get into the video, guys, please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe. And please be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. <laughs> Okay guys, so today's video basically is to emphasize the importance of kind of like falling back from society, your phone, the world for a little bit. Um, and this world that we live in, and there's so many distractions, there's so many things that happen that kind of keeps you off um, balance or whatever. And you know, we see successful people and we see the work that they had to do and then we, you know, we think, all right, you know, they get to just chill after a while, but it's like, no, like, it's the saying that I read in the book. It's basically saying something like, if you don't keep watering your grass, it's eventually going to turn brown. And that's, um, excuse me, that's the whole moral story. But before we even get to that point, to even have gotten our grass to a healthy condition, we have to build um, that grass up. And, um, you know, that's why it's important to fall back from people. You have to be able to, it's like, like I always say, 30 days makes a habit and 90 days makes a lifestyle. You got to get to the point where you can set your goals and set what you want aside and, and, and filter out the importance of stuff before you start, you know, letting things in. And if you can do that in the beginning processes with the distractions going on and all that, that's good. But a lot of people can't. So, you know, going back to the grass is being green. You got to build a routine. You got to build a schedule. You got to, you know, like, I'll speak for myself. I, I used to get up at 6 o'clock every morning. And, um, you know, I would be on my flow, my gym thing, my this is in the third, my pole, whatever, whatever. And, you know, you know, and life stuff happens, so you fall back. I had got a job, and I, I noticed that every time I get a job that, you know, that routine that I had, it just goes out the window because you got to be to work at a certain time and getting out late, and it's just, you know, undemanding. But y'all already know your girl. I always quit the damn job any damn way because it just don't fit within my lifestyle and my goals or whatever. Um, I'm not telling anybody to just go quit your job. You got to be able to be in a position to do that. Um, I'm not It's not recommended for everybody. But when you work yourself on another skill, like me dancing, for instance, then I can go quick. You know what I mean? And maneuver around that and stuff like that and build the skills. And that's, that goes back to what I said about cutting the world off. If you do want to quit your job, if you do want to, you know, become your own boss, then your focus is going to have to be in because it's going to take a long time or a nice amount of time for you to build up clientele and build up business and build up that. And that comes with brand and, and you know, setting the time to do other people nails, possibly promotion, stuff like that. And you cannot be distracted um, with friends and stuff like that if you're going to, you know, build up. And not even for just like a business type thing. If you're trying to get closer to God, if you're trying to get your gym work together, if you're trying to whatever it is you may do, you may have to distance yourself from people because when you're trying to better yourself and you tell people, oh, I want to pray or oh, I want to go to the gym. Oh, you can do that later. Oh, you can do that later. And then you, and you hear you like, oh, I can do that later. And then later come and then you just never doing it. And people who don't have ambition, are not going to clap their hands for you or not. And, and they may not be doing it on purpose, but they don't see that importance. They don't see that importance of what you're trying to do. And, 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 God, and honestly, guys, it's not for them to see that importance. This is for you. This is your journey. And um, energies and vibes and, you know, stuff like that is very attractive, especially when you're trying to, especially, especially, especially when you're trying to get into the swing of things. Um... When I started changing my life around, you know, I always talk about my mom. She passed away four years ago. 
her anniversary just passed. Um, when I started trying to change my life, um, it, it wasn't even for a career or for nothing and at first. It didn't start out that way. It just started out with me being like, damn, like my mom died. All this other stuff is not important. Um, just a reality check. And um, I just started like, I had like maybe like 20 friends and every couple months it was just rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds of friends. Um, I know you're probably hearing a fire truck. Sorry about that, guys. Um, rounds of friends until I was just left with none or none or one or two. And then a, the couple of friends that I was still hanging out with, I even had to cut them off because I'm like, all right, this person is always in drama. These people don't want nothing. They, they just want to party or be seen on the internet. And it's like, what is really you showing? Like, what is there to be seen? Y'all turning up, shaking your asses and doing the same shit that everybody else doing. And if you want to be an entrepreneur or you want to be in that 2% as opposed to the 98%, one day you just wake up and you just feel like you don't belong. And that shit is awkward. Like, that shit is weird. That shit is a process. That shit is... It's a, it's a gift and a curse feeling like, damn, I want to be different. But then kind of feeling like, damn, like, I'm going to have to isolate myself in order to be different. Like, that's... That come with... You know, it's, it's like I said, it's a gift and a curse. Like, you know what I mean? Especially in the beginning phases when you're trying to figure out, like... Damn, why do I want to be different? Or what's different about me? Or like, why can't I just be different among others? Like, you know what I mean? It's it's a it's a it's a it's a back and forth battle, choosing if you want to stay different or if you don't. Um, and like, you know, it's just um, people are influenced by the internet. You know, y'all y'all see people on the internet and y'all want to do stuff that they do. They have these people not even living. It's all a facade. Everybody fake. Everybody, people are showing thousands of sneakers, but they live in, in a shitty ass basement. And I'm not I'm not judging nobody's process, but it's just like we get on the internet or we scroll, 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 scroll. It's a distraction. Like I said, when you first try to change, you wanna have to write down. I write down everything. I keep track of my expenses. How I spent my day, my gym workouts, everything. And when you around a whole bunch of people, you can't do that. You can't take out time to read your Bible. You can't take out this. And for some reason, it seems like every time I read my Bible, I'll be like sitting to myself and then somebody comes over to me. And when you think that, oh, nobody can fuck with you because you're different. I'm telling you, it will attract so many people. Because you're doing stuff that nobody else is doing. You're taking out the time for yourself. And people see that. You know what I mean? Some people are going to act like they don't care. They don't ignore it. But people see that you're daring to be different. It's, 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 it may hurt in the beginning. But it will pay out in the long run. Um, but yeah, like I was saying. Um, I had to take the time out. When my mom first passed away. And like I said, I just did it for like mental. You know, at first. To clear my mind and then it just became like oh, all right i want to do nails oh i want to do pole oh i want to do this i want to do that um you're going to have to cut off people um i'll use my club for example i don't hang out really with nobody i don't i don't hang out with nobody at all at the club but i'll see girls who be like you know they need some money and then they'll go outside and smoke or whatever take their little smoke break nothing wrong with that taking a little break and then Two new friends are coming there. They going outside to smoke. So now that person is going back outside to smoke again. And then, you know, it just, and then another girl come in there. They drinking and they sit at the bar. Like, I watch people, like, get distracted so easily. And, um, like I said, when you're in your journey, you're going to have to cut people off. You're going to have to turn your phone off. You're going to have to leave your phone places. You're going to have to, like, I don't barely hardly check my phone. I barely be on it. I barely, I just, I check it for social media, like, to upload my stuff, and I might think on for, like, two minutes or stuff like that, or I'll get on my phone and look at my Bible verses, but I don't, your phone is, like, a major, 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 major distraction. Um, I, I download, like, prayer stuff and stuff on my timeline that's going to inspire me, but even that, it's still a, too much of a distraction sometimes because you're just look like it's like basically knowledge is power, but it's like not if you don't apply it. 
you just know it now. Like it's you know what I mean? So you just seeing it and it's just like you're not applying it to your life. So yeah guys, um when you when you're in your beginning processes, I'm telling y'all I'll give it thirty give it give it not thirty days, I'm sorry. Give it ninety days first. Shoot for this first three months and then start working to your six months. But um I'm I I hate to tell y'all that, but in order for y'all to you know, get where y'all wanna be. Y'all gonna fall back from people. Y'all gonna have to focus on yourself. Y'all gonna have to meditate, pray, whatever it is y'all do spiritually. Y'all can't go out all the time. Like, because another thing is, you, you go out with your friends, you're always drinking. And I'm not saying it's nothing wrong with drinking sometimes, but when you're drinking all the time, you're getting up late. That stuff that you wanted to do early in the morning, that stuff that you wanted to do all day before you go to work, you don't have no time to sleep in the bed. I used to be one of the people who used to get up like an hour or two before it's time for me to go to work. Now, I don't I, I don't like it. I didn't do anything I was supposed to do, and now I'm back at work. And then the next day, it's just like, and that's how we get in the habit, like, oh, I'm going to do it eventually, eventually, eventually. We've been saying eventually since we was in our teenage years and we was graduating from high school saying that we wanted a career. Like, when is eventually going to happen? So you guys have to take the steps now. Um, and, and, and when it comes to your dreams and your goals, everybody's not going to understand that. Everybody's not going to get it. And it ain't for everybody to get. Me personally, I don't like explaining myself to nobody. I don't like it telling people why I want this. Because, it, like, it, you know why? And, and, and it's not because I don't want to. It's just when you've been living on the earth long enough, you know that people are not supportive of your dreams or they're going to question it or more so when people don't have ambition or they don't have a purpose. It's like they it's like they they're not going to be happy about you having a purpose. So that that's another thing why you got to fall back from people like don't share your ideas with nobody. Don't you know, don't it's, it's just very important to just keep to yourself, keep your dreams to yourself, keep yourself organized. Like I said, I get I write down my, my expenses. I write I track my gym. I track everything. I write down my prayers. I write down, you know, any positive affirmations that I hear tonight. It's so important. Um my my meal prep, what I'm gonna make for the day. Um I even even had to like start like I was going to wash do go to laundry. I mean go to the bank every other day and going to do this every other day and going to that. And after speaking with somebody, they was like, you're just fake being productive. Like, you're going every day to do one thing that you could do one time out of a week. Stop going here and there and doing that five times out of a week. Like, it's time wasting. And when when you sit yourself down from distractions, you can really write down, evaluate what you've been doing. What you've been doing with your time. Which, what you, which, what you been, which, what's, what's your formula that you got is wrong. You can re-come up with another formula. And so, sometimes you got to re-come up and re-come up and re-come up with that, like... Every, sometimes every week you make it up a new formula and that's okay. But you're never going to find out your formula or what it is that you need to be doing or need to not be doing until you cut off distractions. Um, guys, cut off your friends. And I'm not, when I say cut off, I'm not saying don't hang out with nobody. I cut off everybody because I have my own reasoning. It wasn't serving my purpose and it just wasn't healthy for my lifestyle. But more importantly, like, just falling back. Skip that party, you know, skip that drink, skip that. And I'm not saying all the time, but spend, spend, give yourself an hour or two or two, three hours a day to focus on you yourself. Then turn your phone on, then get back on social media. You know what I mean? We we got 24 hours in a day and we use most of our day concerning other people. Our thoughts go crazy. We have a thousand things on our mind. And we have to go to work. We have to be around people. Like, and most of our life, we never really get any time to ourselves. Why not spend an hour to a day on you to clear your mind? And another thing is, we have so many thoughts. And we have so, like, even though we don't have time to ourselves, we with ourselves 24 hours of the day. So why not make two hours of that time to yourself in positive? Um... I'm going to keep that at that. <laughs> I'm going to keep that at that. Um, you already know what I'm going to say next, guys. Please pray to God. Please protect y'all. Peace. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.